is Damien from Marketing Food Online, and these five websites are the websites for any food entrepreneur, especially if you're just getting started. So let's check them out. Hey guys, it's Damien from Marketing Food Online. I hope you guys are having another great day as always. This is going to be one of the coolest videos I've actually ever done. I'm really excited about doing this. And I've decided to do each week, I'll have one video of these posted. I'm going to do five videos, or sorry, five websites in this video that every food entrepreneur needs to know about and you should bookmark in your computer. You need to be aware of these websites. They are extremely helpful. There are resources galore in these websites. So I'm going to bring you five, at least one video each week. We'll have five of these websites. And what I'm going to do is go through them, explain why you need to know about them and you should be aware of them uh, because knowledge and understanding and gaining a lot of, of, of resources at your fingertips when it comes to starting a food business is worth its weight in gold. Trust me. Um, these are websites that I personally just frequent. Um, I'm not promoting anybody here. This is uh, I'm not, not a paid, I'm not always paying me for this. Just simply want to bring these to you and let you be aware of them. They are great resources, great websites. Um, some of them are associations, food associations and such, which will help you um, collaborate with other food producers or just gain some knowledge or maybe some insight into the food industry and food business, which will definitely let you understand uh, more about it and give you direction where you wanna go. So these are in no particular order. Number one is of course, Specialty Food Association. It's actually specialtyfood.com. Uh, and this is an association. You can definitely become a member. There is a fee for that, um, but you can definitely become a member and there is a ton of benefits. Um, there are several food shows Okay, and this association is kind of linked into a lot of these food shows. So they'll give you an opportunity if you were at the point where maybe you've produced a food product that's ready for retail and you want to find out, hey, how can I get in touch with buyers or how can I just kind of um, associate myself with other food sellers, uh, maybe gain some understanding how food brokers work, whatever it may be. These expos are fantastic. These food shows are great. So. Um, what do they offer here? They have a shows and events. They show you all of the different events that they are associated with, exhibiting, even travel centers if you want to get there. The Food Association, what is this actually about, the specific uh, getting a membership for this type of association? Um, and it goes on and on. They've won awards for um, fantastic resources over many, many years. They've won numerous awards. There's a lot of news, associate, association press releases um, and features and trends and such, products learning center and a solution center. So this is a great site to, if you, even if you're just beginning, you don't necessarily have to have a, a food product completed and ready to go to gain understanding and some uh, knowledge about food from this site. So this is number one. Let's move on to the second one. Now this one's called progressivegrocer.com. This is a industry website based around the grocery industry, which of course reflects food products and trends and a lot of other great topics. So you can scroll down here. It talks about food safety. It, it also has some great um, articles. Let me get over to the side here. There you go, related topics. Great articles about food packaging and labeling, category management, um, understanding government relations and such, uh, food safety, even private labeling. And I'm just gonna click on that really quick. And again, it goes through here and it is a ton of great articles, um, other websites that are attached to this one that you can utilize as well. Um, talks about Kroger, Retailer of the Year. Um, this is some of the most recent information, Stop and Shop, and so on. There's a lot of grocery stores and even private uh, label companies that you may have never heard about, but these are great grocery stores that you may even want to contact to get your product in them. Of course, Target and, and a handful of other ones, and it just goes on and on and on. Okay, so this one is a great one, specifically when you get to this website. Again, it's progressivegrocer.com. When you get to this website on the right side, this is, has this has a lot of the information you'd be looking for. Also, wholesalers and distributors. Uh, this will give you articles and contact information about wholesalers and food distributors that you can again contact or get in touch with if you look to get your product all over the country. This would be the place to do it. And a lot of really great. And let me tell you, some of this information may not necessarily be uh, interesting, interested to to you or pertain to your product at this very moment. 
I go through here and a lot of times I read articles that may not necessarily be something that has to do with what I do today, but down the road, you find out, you know what? Hey, I read that article on that website. I want to get in touch with that company. It's just great to be informed. Okay. The more information you know, the better off you are. Now, Organic Consumers Association, this is a great website for organic food. And let's say if you're producing a, an organic food product or you're in the market to start a organic food product and you want to find out what is actually needed on my packaging, what kind of labeling, how the process to, um, to process a food that is organic, how do I do that? Um, what agency do I need to contact? All of that great information is on this website and that's Organic Consumers dot org actually okay so the next one up i'm going to give you this one now this may this is kind of um off of the um food related industry and food related websites but this is an extremely valuable useful i've actually personally have used them before if you have not heard of legal zoom uh, legal zoom is a website with a lot of uh, legal advice you can incorporate get your business formation um, if you have intellectual property, this is something I covered in a couple of my videos <clears throat> in regards to trademarks, okay, and copyright. Patents don't necessarily come in play with food products, but trademarks and copyright definitely does. This is a site that you can get access to lawyers. Um, <clears throat> to be honest with you, it's at a very reasonable price. You can search around and find some other websites that may be potentially cheaper. The reason why, um, and here's a company right here, as a matter of fact, a meat and fish company. Uh, that did some business with LegalZoom. The reason why is that this website has all of this in one site and they have all, all they have numerous attorneys. It's not just one, but they have them available in different um, categories like I show you here. Um, but doing having the ability to do all of this stuff on the same site is really, really useful. You can definitely, of course, get five or six different sites to get this stuff from. There's no doubt, but it's all in one place here. So if you're starting, you're just getting up and running, you, you know, I, I personally, my, my company, by the way, is an LLC. You can form that on LegalZoom in literally less than 10 minutes and you're up and running. Um, so take a look at LegalZoom. It's a great website to have um, when you are starting your food business or creating that food product. Okay. And then lastly for today, the number five is Fiverr. Now you may or may not have heard uh, good or bad things, reviews about Fiverr. I personally have used Fiverr, <laughs> I think three or four dozen times, at least, um, at least three dozen times. Um, I've actually used Fiverr for the logo. There's several uh, logos that we've got from Fiverr that have cost me less than $10. And I've had no problems with them at all. And the delivery of the product is fast. Some people, you go on YouTube, you may see a lot of people giving reviews that it was a horrible experience. Well, they just they just found the wrong freelancer, to be honest with you. So Fiverr is basically a website that you, if you're looking for a food label logo, you want to create a really cool um, logo. That's really what I've used them for more than one occasion. Um, my son and I, we have a couple of eBooks, children's books that we actually got some, some artwork done for, which was uh, cartoons and such. That was totally separate, but I also had a great experience with that. But anyways, if you're looking for a graphic designer, like, again, package design and stuff like that, they actually have fantastic deals on here um, for a fraction of what you would pay if you went to one of these high-end professional companies to have a, a, a logo done. There's also website designers on here. Um, everything from uh, voiceovers to social media. If you're trying to promote your food product and you need someone who knows social media and you're not, you're not a, a, a savvy social media person, that's fine. That you can find people on here who can help you with that. So Fiverr is the fifth and final website that I recommend as a food entrepreneur. All of these need to be bookmarked on your computer. Go back to them, check them out periodically. You can learn a lot from these five sites. And of course, the last two are very useful when it comes to trying to get stuff done for you or incorporate. Okay. So with that being said, if this was truly helpful and useful, give me a big thumbs up. I always appreciate you guys giving me feedback. If you have questions about any of these websites, please let me know down below. If you've actually worked with any of them, if you could let our other subscribers know about uh, your experience, that would be great. Um, whether good or bad, uh, I always appreciate positive feedback, but anything that you've got that is honest, uh, let us know how you took, uh, you've, how you worked with some of these sites and I will wrap it up guys. And as always check out our other videos. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to our channel. We've got hundreds of videos, <clears throat> excuse me, to help you get your food product in the marketplace. Take care.